السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته guys I found this amazing application called JDownloader which will help you save a lot of your time first we are going to install 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 the latest Java runtime libraries we're gonna set it to the default version we are going to download the JDownloader we're gonna place it in our home directory and then we are going to add the shortcut link to the main menu so that if you use gnome do or any other app launcher you'll be able to launch gdownloader right from it and not from the terminal window so this application is so cool like if you have to download tons and tons of files from from websites like rapid share file sharing websites like rapid share mega share mega upload then this will save a lot of your time because it will automatically copy the links if you have copied it in your clipboard it will catch those links grab those links it will then add it to the download manager it will check those links whether they are working or not I mean this is saving a lot of your time and then it will have its own counter and it will download one by one all those files and if those files have been split into multiple rare files once it downloads all those rare files it will merge it and it will give you the final product amazing yeah and if you have um, a premium account that is that will be like icing on the cake so we are going to download that and install it on Ubuntu on Windows all you have to do is just uh, click this which includes Java it's a portable app if you have Java installed just download this on Linux copy this file paste it I mean download this file paste it in your home folder extract it right in your home folder so that would be like home your username slash j downloader that will be the uh, path to that folder so moving on um, so what's the next step yes I forgot the next step is uh, downloading the latest version of uh, Java runtime environment right for that you have to enable the multiverse repository open software software sources check if you don't have check whether you have already selected the multiverse and universe repository if you don't have it enabled enable it and then reload your repository all right and then uh, just type this uh, so that get installed sun hyphen java hyphen sun hyphen java 6 hyphen jre anyways type this i'll post this again in the description box and then we have after that yes we have successfully installed the latest version of java runtime environment now we are going to set this to the default version how do we do that again uh, you have to type this in the description i'll post this in the in the description box the reason why i'm stammering is because this is the 99th time i'm doing this video i don't know why i'm totally unable to make a video today something's wrong i don't know why anyways uh once you have done that you'll get these three options and we'll be looking for this user lib jvm java hyphen six hyphen sun and just uh select the number over here it's type two once you have just check for the asterisk do you see the asterisk over here yeah this asterisk check whether uh, you have the asterisk to this URL now this location if you don't have it then you have to type 2 so if you have done that that means we have uh, successfully set up Java 6 runtime as the default right now we are going to add the description no what am I saying we are going to add the shortcut to the main menu how do we do that I'll just, uh, you see the applications over here uh, yeah just right click on it edit menus click on edit menus go to the internet section and add a new item I have already done that so this is the new this is the item that I have that I have added type will be application give any name and comment you want you can change the icon but this is very important 
Java. If you do this wrong, then obviously the application won't launch. So make sure this is right. Java space hyphen jar. So this is the syntax followed by the location to the jar file. So for me, it is home directory, my username, and then this directory, jdownloader, hope j n d r in uppercase because that's how I got it. So jd again in uppercase dot jar, jdownloader dot jar. Or you can browse it. No, don't browse it. Paste this. I'm gonna paste this in the description box and I'll try to explain that over there too. So close it and now let's launch it. Where is it? Where's my G downloader? Yeah, it's over here. So this is the application that I have been whining about today. Um, for example, I've got a mega upload link over here. Yeah, copy this. Once you copy it, okay, I'll copy another one. Fine. Now you see, this is what I did. Unchecked will be checking that so after checking it will give you whether it is online or offline whether the link is dead or not so if it's online you can download it just right click and continue with all and it will download it but if this file was split into multiple parts it would add all those rare files over here under this one file name and it would extract those rare files I mean extract this ISO from that rare files I hope you're getting it uh, I'm gonna end this tutorial now because uh, I think I have done pretty everything uh, that I was supposed to show you and now if I launch it using my no do where is it hold on yeah as you can see I can launch it using any app launcher I'm sorry to make this, uh, you know, tutorial very melodramatic. Uh, we'll have to end this now. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. If you face any problem, you can, you know, just type a comment or two. I'll totally, I'll be glad to help you. Assalamu alaikum. And by the way, uh, excuse my bad English. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.